Hi, welcome to episode five of Owen's Birds. My name is Kathy Kimura, and I'm in New Jersey. I'm speaking with my father, Owen Kimura, who is in Sarasota, Florida, and he is a bird naturalist at Mayaka River State Park. Hi, Dad. Hi, Hi Kathy. Kathy. I wanted to start this show off talking about a favorite bird memory that I have. When I was with you, and this was only about five years ago, and I was asking you about a particular bird, I was pointing to it, and I said, look at the arms on that lady. And you said, they're not arms, they're wings, and it's not a lady, it's a female. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> That's my favorite bird story. <laughs> you were talking about a lady who was next door. <laughs> or... Talking about a bird. Oh, okay. So, did you learn <laughs> from that experience? Yes. The father, father knows best. I learned that they're not ladies, they're females, <laughs> and they're not arms, they're wings. Very good. Um, that's impressive, Kathy. I remembered it. So it made a big impression. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, so now we haven't done an episode in a while because you've been away. Right. I was in Churchill, and we talked a little bit about Churchill. Uh, one of the interesting birds that uh, we didn't talk about was this one, which is called a long-tailed duck. Uh, it had to change its name a number of years ago because its old name was Old Squaw. Old Squaw was not politically correct. So instead of Old Squaw, for some reason it was called that, I don't know why, this picture is uh, the Old Squaw in breeding plumage. When we see them in New Jersey or uh, never see them in Sarasota, we're too far south, but they're in uh, their winter plumage. They're much more attractive looking in their breeding plumage, like this one I showed you. Uh, and we saw a lot of uh, interesting birds uh, in Churchill, but since then uh, I've just returned from a two-week fly fishing trip to Montana. I had a wonderful time of uh, fly fishing, but along the way I did a lot of birding. Uh, and while I was uh, birding on the Beaverhead River, uh, we had a very interesting sighting, very close in, of a golden eagle. Oh, really? Yeah. I hadn't, I never seen very many of them. We certainly don't see them much in uh, Sarasota. Uh, and that flew over, and like two minutes later, a bald eagle flew by, right over the same wow. path that the golden eagle had just traveled. So uh, we got the golden eagle and the bald eagle, the two eagles that you're uh, able to see in North America. Do they hang out together? No, they don't. Not normally. And my gu fishing guide uh, was telling me about uh, how uh, he saw a, a golden eagle that was all wound up in uh, uh, monofilament. Oh. And he uh, went out of his way. He stopped. He got the monofilament off the bald e the golden eagle, and the golden eagle then attacked him. Oh, nice. Swooped in and, and trying to get away from the golden eagle, he twisted his knee, <laughs> and it took him several months before his knee got back oh into gosh. action. And so much uh, for the saying that no good deed goes unpunished. No wonder somebody tied the eagle up. <laughs> Well, I don't know that it was tied up. Did the guy was, go back and tie was, him up again? Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> maybe uh, he tried to do that to maybe tried to attack another fisherman. Huh? Now along the river, I saw some other beautiful birds. Uh, Yellow-headed blackbirds were there, and uh, the only heron or egret that we find in um, up in the north is the uh, great blue heron. You know, they nest in our backyard, and we've got at least a half a dozen other herons and egrets that are seen just about every day in our backyard. I and have blue herons. I have blue oh. herons too in New Jersey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one that's seen all over the United States, uh, probably including Alaska. I love but those. I, what? I love those ladies. <laughs> you know those ladies? They have big arms. Yeah, they have really big <laughs> arms. How tall are they? Uh, yeah, they've got about uh, five or six foot wing spread. Yeah, the bald eagle and the golden eagle have more like a seven-foot wing spread. Wow. And uh, up in, uh, in Montana, I also saw the uh, sandhill cranes that were nesting. But, you know, we have two different subspecies of sandhill cranes down here in Sarasota. The, the uh, sandhill that crane... That, I hear one. Yeah, you hear... No, that one is, is uh, Betty Kamara <laughs> just entering the door, whoop-whooping. 
She's a happy, a happy bird. She didn't um, know we were recording. That's just normal. She she walks into the house normal, and right. takes bird sounds. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Hi, uh, Dad. Wave is, me down. Mom, oh. we're recording the show. Welcome Hi. to the fifth. This Get off the, the show. Fifth. This what? is the, get out, get of, out the of the show. Get out of the show. You're not doing this. We are doing this show. This is the show. Yeah, but the gardener is going with the mower, the lawn mower. Mom, we can't hear that. Betty. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Well, I heard him talking about me. You're not going to no, just you keep heard that. She said a strange bird just entered the... And I heard... Oh, oh. I heard okay, this. come on. Come on. Time is the ticking. Here. This goes here. She, we don't want to see it in the back. Goodbye, Betty. Where was I? I don't know. You said a cuckoo bird entered the room? A cuckoo bird. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we were talking about sandhill cranes. Okay. And there are two different in kinds. Florida, we have two species of sandhill cranes. We have the greater sandhill crane, and that one uh, is the one that migrates here in the wintertime. And then uh, that's the one that goes back up to Montana and the other northern states uh, to breed. The Florida sandhill crane does not migrate, and that's the one we see breeding down here. We see them with the little chicks, uh, and you know what a little sandhill crane chick is called? A chicklet? Not a, <laughs> a sandy chicklet? Very good. Not a chicklet, a colt, C-O-L-T. Why? Uh, I don't know, I guess it, it, when it runs around on its, uh, it, it's kind of tan, it only, <laughs> it's about this big, oh. and then it, it grows very quickly. They usually uh, start out with three and they end up with one or sometimes two. And, you know, sandhill cranes are the, uh, some of the best parents in the avian world. They mate for life, unlike many people. They, uh, and they take care of their young, uh, and the young stays with them until they're ready to fly off on their own. Did that I ever tell you happen, the story? That doesn't happen with other birds? It happens with some other birds, but these are uh, very good examples in the uh, bird world of uh, parents. Uh, did I ever tell you the story about the uh, a couple who came to me and told me a story when I was working at the bird walk on Mayaka? They, did I tell you this one? Uh, about the uh, sandhill crane they saw walking across the road with two little colts. And the car came along. And the uh, leading sandhill crane parent ran to the car, spread its wings out like, oh. like a traffic cop, until the babies walked across the road and the female walked across the road and then he looked at the car and went <laughs> this sound oh, and that's funny. across the road. Yeah. That's funny. Now, I never saw that happen. But uh, the people came back two years in a row and retold the story and swear that it was true. Huh. Yeah. I believe it. So I believe it too. I like to believe it. <laughs> so uh, at any rate, back to Montana. Uh, I saw uh, a lot of uh, good western birds, and uh, it was a lot of fun going up there. Taking pictures with a still camera, and which doesn't have a image stabilizer, and it doesn't have any much of a magnification. It gives you only a magnification of four. The one I'm looking at gives me a magnification of 18. It's a camcorder, and when I get back from our trip to Colorado, I'll tell you more about the Colorado trip. And uh, I'm going to order that new camcorder so we can have much better grade photographs and much closer pictures of the birds. Okay, great. Well, thanks for joining me again. And, and thank you for having me join you again. Uh, it was fun and uh, it was really a potpourri of our birding adventures and travels. And it, and it was the introduction of Betty, whoop, whoop. the whooping crane. <laughs> <laughs> also known as your wife and my mother. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Until next time. Till next time. Bye.